Hi. Let's take a look at how we can assign keyboard shortcuts to commands in Visual Studio. This is really helpful for the situations where uh, there's a certain command that you use a lot and you can it will be easier if you use the keyboard to uh, to execute it. Um, and in this case, that's kind of exactly what I want to do. So my scenario is I open a solution and this solution is uh, I'm using Git and GitHub and oftentimes I want to um, pull the latest uh, changes down to my source code before I start uh, coding. So I'll go to Team Explorer and click the Sync button and then I go in here and I can do a pull to get the latest. I think that's a little cumbersome. I would like to do that uh, just with a keyboard shortcut so I don't have to go to Team Explorer. I think that would be uh, really nice. So I'm going to go up here. Control Q gets me into the search field and I can search for keyboard. And I'm going to check uh, the one here for environment keyboard or change hotkeys and keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we're going to open that one and that's going to get us into the tools options for the keyboard. So now I can see if I can find this command for doing a git pull. So I'm just going to search for pull and I can see it's probably this one right here. So this is a list of all the commands that are available in Visual Studio and I can um, just do a quick search here. So now that I found my command, I need to assign a shortcut to it. And I can see here there's no shortcut assigned to this particular command. So what shortcut do I want? Something to remember uh, that's easy. Uh, I'm going to do Control shift p Let's see if that's available. Control shift p I'm going to type that in here. And I can now see that there is, in fact, uh, one or more things that have that shortcut. Let's open this drop-down. No, just one. There's just one thing in here. And we can see in parentheses at the end that this applies to the difference viewer or the diff viewer. Um, so this is about scope. So if we look here, this is a list of scopes. Global means the global scope. So that means the keyboard shortcut will work anywhere. But I can scope it to a specific editor, like let's say the JSON editor. So it only works uh, when I am currently editing a JSON file. And the more narrow the scope um, always wins. So a JSON editor scope always wins over a global scope. But in this case, I want the global scope. And um, let's see here. So I'm going to assign it. So even though it's already assigned to a different scope, I can now assign it to the global scope. There we go. And um, click OK. And now if I hit, hit Control Shift P, we can see that it's going to do a git pull. And there we have it. So that's how easy it is to do a keyboard shortcut uh, for an existing command.